Hello and welcome to Yeyu Lab. Today we will dive into a cool new web UI tool called Mesop and its development for LLM powered agents. Created by Google, Mesop is basically a super easy way to build UI, especially if you are working with those amazing LLM powered web apps but don't know much about front end stuff. It is another option than Streamlit, Panel, Chainlit, Gradio to help with that for rapid prototyping and experiments. From its GitHub page, it looks like Mesop has just recently been converted from an experimental project to a public one. But even with that, it is still an engineer's toy which is out of Google's official support. Look at this disclaimer. This is not an officially supported Google product. However, this gives us more freedom to experiment and contribute to the project development. Being outside of uh, official support means Mesop can evolve rapidly and incorporate community feedback more readily. This agility could lead to fast innovation and a more tailored experience for LLM app developers. After many demonstrations on creating multi-agent apps with other UI framework, I will introduce how to make a mess up UI app. Let's look at one of the key features component. Mesop offers a range of pre-built components from basic buttons to text input to more advanced elements like chat interface and image tools. You can check out more on their components page. And the other feature is its flexibility. While providing high-level components, Mesop also allows for customization and low-level control when needed. For example, if you click into the API page, you will find the style of the, the UI is very free to be defined by following HTML elements inline style API which will allow the app to be fully customized in styling. OK, let's see a simple app as an example before the Autogen app. Let's go into the demo. And we find this text-to-text -text component. So this is one of the biggest advantage of Mesop that is its highly abstract component design, which significantly reduces the time and difficulty for the developers to create regular apps to test LLM. For example, here is one typical LLM um, app provide a simple text generation workflow. Here. Here we'll type hello, generate, and there will be an echo hello in the output. So if you examine the code of this implementation, you will find the code is very simple. That means with these high level components, you don't have to worry about the layout, uh, the widgets, and the styles so that the app code will be very simple. When we look at the code, the decorator me.page transforms the app function into a method page. It configures various uh, properties of the page, including security policy, which define a security policy that restricts the page from being embedded in iframes on any website except the URL in its list. Here, there are two URL is allowed, including GitHub and Hugging Face. 
and the path is set to define the URL path for this page. For example, the local URL for this app will be HTTP localhost 32123 text to text. And then the title, which specifies the title that will appear in the browser tab. Then in the main app function, this one line MEL is from mess library. Text to text. This one line creates the text to text components from that provides a simple text input and output area. And it registers a function, uppercase string as a handler function that is registered in the text-to-text -text component. Your custom processing logic from the import box can be defined as such a handler. And its returned message will be displayed in the output box. This example returns the original input message with echo. Understand how to implement a basic MESOP app for LLM generation. Let's move forward to integrate AutoJ. For this integration, we will fully leverage the text-to-text -text example with an extension to facilitate the multi-agent workflow. Here is the app. Let's try one task. Make a research. For GPT-5 model and write a blog post about your research. Okay, after a while, here is the output about this blog post. And in the workflow section, there are intermediate steps showing. So in this app, we will create a simple group chat with three agents, user proxy, researcher, and writer to work together to write a blog post for the user. In addition to the text-to-text -text demo, we add another section showing each agent's intermediate speech in the workflow section below the user section. Without further ado, let's see the code. First, let's install the MESOP and AutoGen packages. As MESOP is at a very initial version, so you should expect further significant upgrades. So make sure the version in this demo is aligned with 0.10.0. Now input these dependencies, including AutoJ, MESOP with MESOP Labs, Now we will make a framework for the web app from a test-to-test -test component. Create the decorate ME page first. In this app function, we set up a state variable state to manage the application's data throughout the web session. The state should be created by the class function me state. We can put our global variables into the class state under decorator me state class. In this state class, we define a list of string agents messages that containing all the intermediate 
messages. Back to the app function, we use MessUp's other components books to manage the layout by separating the user input output section from the agent's workflow section. In the first box, we reused uh, text to text component and reject a new call function group chat workflow for process autogen logic. In the second box, we use Markdown to display all the ongoing messages that appended to the agent messages list in the state. You don't have to worry about display refreshing because MeshUp will manage that in a hot reload manner. For the style, here we define a box style which follows the HTML element inline style API to style the box for a better look. Here we define a border style, insert that border style into the box style and add a box shadow, overflow, padding, these parameters. With the mess up framework ready, we will now integrate the autogen processing into the process handler group chat workflow. Let's define the group chat workflow function. If you are familiar with autogen app development, there's nothing special about the agent's user proxy, writer, and researcher. And writer and researcher are defined by the assistant agent class that powered by GPT-40 config. The user proxy represents the user input. The researcher makes a research output for the given topic and the writer writes a blog post as a final result. Then all three agents reject a reply function, print messages to redirect the agent's output to the mass up component. In order to do that, we should also deliver the variable state to the config of the reply function so that the agent's message can be appended to the global message list. Let's look at the function print messages. It's very easy, just append the new message from the agents to the agent message list. After the agent's creation, we should create a group chat and a manager that's also powered by GPT-40 to orchestrate the chat sequences. Then finally pass the input string S to the initiate chat function to start the whole group chat. Here, the statement return response summary will ensure the final output to be displayed in the output box. So that's the definition of the handler function group chat workflow that triggered by the user input. To run the code, you need to wrap up the code in a Python file and then run the mess up command in your console. Mess up, mess up auto j dot pi. If everything's fine, you will see the log printed here. Then you can visit your MessUp app through the IP with the default port 32123. And don't forget to add additional paths to your URL of uh, the web app. And this is an early exploration of Autogen and MessUp integration. 
Further enhancements are necessary for the full functionality, including improved user interaction during the chat and real-time agent message display. So let's keep track of MessOps updates and investigate the integration of more multi-agent frameworks. That's all for today. For the tutorial and the source code, you can find the link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Keep innovating and I'll catch you in the next one.